Oh shit. Hey. So if you guys can't tell by the title of the video today, we got a chest day coming up. And normally I would start off with by doing flat, go up to heavy single or something, heavy double, triple. But I'm not going to do that today. Um, I know I've altered <clears throat> my push program like five, six, seven times in the last year. But I think I've kind of finally, you know, found something that works. And as I've mentioned before, my front delts and upper chest are heavily lacking compared to my lower chest. Just from doing so much flat bench. So because of that, I'm going to start off with incline, do a heavy single, go into a standing overhead press, and I might actually not even do flat bench at all, I might actually stay away from flat bench for a couple months, build up the strength, and see where we go from there, because once I hit this 585 deadlift, the bulk's pretty much over, it's going to be done, we're going to go into a cut phase, and then we'll return to strength from there. All right, y'all, the first order of business here before it gets too dark is to get to AutoZone and grab that replacement headlight so we don't end up getting pulled over in the process of transporting ourselves to where we need to go. And this is just a, a little tip, if you will, for anybody that owns a BMW and they take their car to the dealership. To get a headlight done just do it yourself it literally takes like I think both the low beams which are pretty fucking hard as well as the high beams you can change them in literally 10 20 minutes you unscrew a cap I'll show you guys on film and then you take the light bulb out plug it back in it's super simple and my point is when I would go to the dealership um, just the I believe it was the high beam alone, which is just like a normal headlight. That's the easiest one to do. I think they charged me like $250. And if you go to AutoZone and you get a simple fucking light bulb, it's like $21. And this is where it gets fucked, dude. Just hold on. When I had my low beams go out, it's already pretty hard. God, my camera's just fucking sliding around. Anyway. Um, when I had my low beams go out, right, it's the hardest, uh, I don't even know what to call it, um, hardest light to get to just in the front of the car, if that's even the fucking right term, but the dealership charged me eight, or they quoted me $850 for that lamp, because you're supposed to take off the wheel, yada da, but if you turn your wheel to the opposite side that the light's on, you can take off the cover, the cover, unscrew it, take out the light bulb, put it back in. You guys are going to see how to save like thousands of dollars from the dealership. Trust. Alright, so basically what you guys are seeing right here, I know I said I was going to explain this in just the last clip, but I'm just checking the wiring in my right top headlight on the high beam, making sure everything's okay before I get into the low beam. You can see my dog running around there. My mom in the basement with me or, or the garage too, just making sure I'm not fucking up my car too hard got some mad plumber's crap going there as you just see and right as i wrap this up i get down into the low beam and this is what i mean you just turn that car a little bit you get into this really nitpicky hole and i'll circle it you can see the holes one two or the pins one two and three that you gotta loosen up you can pull that beam right out get it back in um and while I was filming this video, this was just making sure. So I was <clears throat> actually just pulling on those pins that you can see right next to the light. And I think right here is when I actually pulled it out. And so the reason why it's so hard is because that wheel's still there. So if you want to save like 850 bucks, go ahead and look up how to do the low beams. It's a little bit intimidating uh, just because you're not able to see those clamps very well. But trust me, once you get it done, very worth it. And this is a horrible angle of me just kind of putting that back together to give you a little bit more context. Screwing that back on, make sure everything is properly fitted. And then here we go, car is back to normal. All right, so now that we got the light all fixed, had some dinner, we're ready to go. Uh, get this push day going. As I said before, we're gonna be focusing from this point on mainly on just incline as well as 
standing overhead press to build this upper region of the chest. Maybe hit a single and flat. Let's get into it. Now that we're in focus and that workout is over, I would say that's not too bad. Got two PRs on incline, new one rep max, 305 pounds, and 235 for eight on an AMRAP. So, all in all, pretty good. I actually reconvened with an old gym buddy who I hadn't seen in about two years. I thought he got abducted by aliens. Uh, the cartel fell off the face of the earth. Who knows what. Anyway, we located the homie, we reconvened. He's about to pull 585 on a stiff bar on Sunday, which is fucking nuts. Because I can almost barely do it on a deadlift bar, which is coming soon. And anyway, now that that's said and done, that workout is said and done, um, we're going to go home and you guessed it. Make some fucking eggs or something. I don't know. I'm just gonna throw something quick together. I ran out of protein powder recently, which kind of sucks because that was I could just slam those shakes like that and get all my pro get pretty much all my protein that I need through that. But we're gonna get it through some real food today, which is probably for the better. Can't complain. And yeah. Also, I would like. 
for anybody who's gotten this far in the video, if you have, thank you very much. Drop a comment on who you think is a more heinous driver, because I need to end this debate. Um, and that debate is, who's the worst driver between a BMW driver and a Nissan Altima driver? Comment down below what you think. So it is actually just disgustingly late right now. It's like almost 1 a.m. and I I think this is my second meal of the day as you guys saw a second ago. Got five eggs right here and just some raspberries and blackberries just for those micros. Gotta hit those. And while I'm eating this, just gonna get all the footage onto my laptop here. Make sure everything's ready to go and yeah. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna get one last sort of meal and three chocolate chunk cookies from Holiday, just so I get that guaranteed insurance policy and the calorie, calorie surplus. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna take a shower, sort of wind down, get ready for work tomorrow, and I'll see you guys in the next one.